Hey guys, Connie here, and today we're going to delve into my history with this. Back in 2018, I bought this 1997 CE Mirage for $500. I had needed it as my old Honda CRX spun a main bearing and I needed a car for work. I had always wanted a Mirage since I was a kid, and when this one popped up, I knew I needed it. After peeling the clear coat off the bonnet and replacing the shock mounts, it was quickly and easily registered and put on the road. However, the height was short-lived when it began overheating. The temp would creep up to the top, prompting me to stop and let it cool. After 16 hours of non-stop work and another 4 hours the next day, the problem was found and fixed. A few months after the problems were fixed, it had its 300,000 km celebration day, and I started looking at modifications that could be done. Ultimately, deciding the cheapest and easiest was a muffler delete. <laughs> After being a good little workhorse for a few months, lugging around my daily dose of calcium and running the ranges, I painted the bonnet black as a happy new year to the car. Soon after, I stopped being a mechanic and started delivering pizza. Oh fuck, oh, um, this one. Nope, not that one. Anyways, not long after starting, the top of the radiator fell off. After quickly ordering an automatic radiator for my manual car, it was back in action and delivering pizza once again. After a couple more months, I decided that it wasn't low enough. So after stealing the suspension from a CC Lancer, I swapped the shock mounts over and installed some super lows into the Mirage. After a month of delivering pizza and it trying to show me it was dying, couldn't hold on anymore. On the 14th of August, 2019, at 319,000 kilometers, I noticed some smoke while driving home. So I pulled over at a servo and looked. The sight before me was enough to make a 20-year-old cry. It was bleeding out. My precious mirage was on the threshold of death. After rushing to ask for some sawdust to clean the oily blood all over the ground, I rushed back to the car to try and get it home. It didn't like it, and we both knew that this was it. A thousand meters and two corners from home, I put the clutch in and the engine stopped. I thought that this was where it died. But no, the moment the clutch was let out, it came back to life to keep on chugging. With the absolute last of its life, it turned those two corners. It overcame the last stretch and it heat seized in its parking spot right outside my house. With its last breath, it got us home. I knew I needed to do something. I couldn't just give up on this beauty. An old acquaintance of mine crashed her Lancer around the same time the Mirage died. She purchased a white wrecked Lancer to take the radiator and bonnet off of. She also put her fiberglass bonnet on the Lancer. I then purchased the Lancer for $400, took the bonnet off and repaired it with fiberglass. Next came a week of pulling the Mirage's heart out and replacing it with the heart of a Lancer. After a week of solid work, the transplant was successful. It had another chance at life. How did we celebrate? The only way we knew how. Not only that, the bonnet looked fantastic and I decided to chuck on some garden edging to make it look even better. The car was strong and reliable once again, taking me to beautiful sights and classic lows. Not long afterwards, I'd managed to snag some rims that complemented it beautifully. The car was looking mighty fine. I helped someone out and in return was given a 1.8 litre that I was going to swap into it. Once again, I didn't like the exhaust layout so I changed it to what became its final design. It was at this point however, I decided my life needed some change. I wasn't in the best mindset and in 2020, I decided to pack up and leave. I sold everything I owned at the time, which was a CRX and another Lancer and moved to Brisbane. Not long after, someone spied the Mirage and realised I hadn't taken it with me and asked if he could buy it. A hundred dollars later, it was his. I received texts for multiple years after of people telling me that they had seen the car, and the guy that bought it kept messaging me saying people were recognizing it as my old beast. It was renowned. That brings us to last year. The guy that bought it was also moving and asked if I wanted it back. I spoke to my now fiance and decided it would be a perfect project for us to do together. Two hundred dollars later and it was ours. We got it shipped down and it wasn't in the best of conditions. We have our work cut out for us. So this is where we are at. Keep your eyes peeled for more and have a great day.